Hey, how are you doing guys? In this video, I want to show you how you can pass uh, functions and props, functions and other props um, as props on React Native or in React. So, okay, let me rephrase again. How you can pass functions as props in React Native or your React app. So, uh, you also learn how you can pass not just props, you're passing uh, not just function, but other props, both text, whatever it is you want to pass to use in passing data, but it's from one component to another, all right? From one function, uh, functional component to another, or from one component to another. So as you can see uh, right here on the right-hand side, I have a to-do list up here I'm building. So uh, never mind, I think I'll create a tutorial for this, um, how to create this to-do list app with a uh, simple to-do list app with React Native. So, but that's not the primary purpose of this, but I just want to use this to illustrate something, all right? Now, when I come here and I type um, uh, code for four hours, and I add this, oops, uh, sorry, let me change the text, text color to white, just a moment. I'm, I'm actually using Tailwind CSS for this, so uh, I don't have any style sheets or anything, so I'm just gonna come here and say text, white yeah okay so i have my text in white color now against this uh, background all right now what i'm trying to achieve is this now you, you can see i have a tax component here you can see on my um explorer here by the left hand side you can see i have tax then i have app.jx there are two different uh components but this tax is actually going to be is actually a child it's going to serve as a child uh, component to this app.js uh, component, which of course, if you are not new to React Native, you know that it is the main parent, uh, usually the main parent component, the app.js, right? So the app component. So here I've created my tags and I have a couple of things here going on here. Don't worry, I, I might link the, um, I'll add a link to the source code so that you can explore it. In the description panel below but do make sure you, you subscribe to the channel please and also like the video also um so i have a view here in my tax area I have a view i have a touchable opacity here and i have a text here so this text i'm passing a prop here so that each time i add a text all right like uh go get a shave for instance and i click here it passes this prop and it comes it comes over here so we are receiving it here all right, um, in our tax here, you can see Oops, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it, okay, yeah um, Yeah, so it, we, we have it here, our tax items here, you can see it, we are returning it here And then our text is this goal so um the major thing here is this when you come over here you can see we, are, we have a props uh a props parameter here all right so this props parameter how it works is that you can come into your your um your code the body of the code and then use props dot whatever you want to use so this is a text component here so we are using props dot text all right so it's, it's just a parameter so right here where we are calling this where we are calling uh tax now all right we can now impute the, the text that we want whatever text it is that we want here so but how do we pass functions that's the more important one um we still have our props here now you see we have a touchable opacity here all right now this touchable opacity is like a button in react native is, is a button right so i have it styled with my um, tailwind css if you want to know how to do that you can also google that or drop me a message i'll respond on the comment section below so i have an on press here i've commented this out so i'm just going to remove the comment now now if you come over to my app.js here you see that we already created a function here we have this function handle tax all right and then we have this function here complete tax and then we have another function here this form all right it's just a function that when this touchable opacity is clicked it will create an alert hello all right so but then remember that the 
the touchable opacity that we want to call this function is inside this tax. It is not in app.js. So what have we gone ahead to do? We go ahead to our tax. Remember, we have our props here. We come here on press, all right, which is the same thing as on click. If you're on, if you're using uh, HTML or probably um, maybe React, but this is on press, all right, for touchable opacity, it calls this function. So props dot this form. Now remember that this form has this form, which is a function, was not is not anywhere inside this uh, tax, right? So the function was not created here. It is created in its parents in its parents. This is where the function is inside the parent, which is this function app the js here all right so this is created here now this can be this method can be used to call any of these other functions but i just want to use this one to show an example all right so we have come here we say on press once you press this touchable opacity we want it to call this function which is this form but this form is in the parent is in the parent all right so what we do is we come over to our tax remember that this tax here has a touchable opacity so this is the tax tax here this whole thing here this black um background with this touchable blue uh or uh grayish kind of so not, not cyanish kind of color here with our text and then this small button here now but inside of it this is the touchable opacity which is this actually this button here the bigger button here so it is calling this function so when you come over to here all right inside our tax sorry again you see that we now say okay this form which is the parameter that we used here all right we use props dot parameter dot this uh um this form here which is any parameter we are calling it here right now right we are we are using this form to call this function right now so what it's doing is that it's this parameter, this prop that we are passing from here, right, is now calling this function. That's why you see here. Okay. So this, so to make it clear, right, it mustn't be the same name. So I can say uh, call call this for, for instance. So you don't get it confused that it must be the same name. So call this. So you can see it's the same name of the parameter here, props parameter we initiated here. So equal to this form. So that means when this touchable opacity is clicked, it is going to come over here and call this function, which is this form. So remember how it's written here. There is no this here. So if you do this, it's going to give you an error. So I'm just going to remove that. So once I save this, my stock refreshes. Now if I come over to my touchable opacity here and I click this, you can see I have hello come up. All right. Which is what I actually want here. Alert dot alert giving me hello. All right now, if I want to change this, if I want to use this same call this to call any other function, maybe complete tax or uh, yeah, complete tax will be better. So what this complete tax does is that it removes this particular to do item from my daily list. So I'm just going to replace this form with this. All right, and I'll allow it to refresh. I'll save it. Allow it to refresh. Now when I do this. We can see that it is now calling this function, which is complete tax, and removing this specific item. If I do this again, you see that this is removed. And if I'm going to do this, um, teach React Native, I do this, and I say um, create Python course on YouTube, for instance. And I add this so once i'm done with this task and i click on this now you can see this happens and this happens so this is how you can simply um call a function as a prop right from one component to another in react native if you find this helpful this took me a while to figure out actually i tried different searches on google and i didn't come up with something until i i i tried to uh you know come up with a solution for this and also with the help of some other research researches that I did. So if you find this helpful, please hit that subscribe button, like the video and drop a comment and share the video. It costs you nothing actually to hit that share button to Twitter or any other place that you love to. Um, thank you for watching this and I hope to see you in other videos as you subscribe to the channel. Peace and I to bring here.